Hey guys, this is Chris teaching you how to install PHP 7 on Ubuntu running as PHP FPM. Um, okay, so ignore the Vagrant commands if you're not using Vagrant. Uh, if you're just using Ubuntu, um, wait until I get to the shell and you'll see, uh, you know, that's the stuff you're going to really want to pay attention to. If you're not using Vagrant, ignore any command that says Vagrant or any specific Vagrant uh, configurations that you see me making. Okay, so I'm at php7.net. Let's get php7 rc6 released. It's the newest. And yes, okay, so rc6, we're going to get this tarball. And uh, so, of course, I right clicked and got the link. Uh, Vagrant, uh, with Vagrant, I have to SSH in. I'm going to go to cd user local source, right? And then do a wget, right? Do a wget on the PHP um, 7 RC6 or whatever RC is the latest and greatest um, when watching this, or if it's actually the actual release of PHP 7, get that. Um, okay, so I'm going to extract this tar now, get the URL out of here, and then uh, we can extract. Okay, so that's extracting. Again, this is a new, I'm sorry, a Vagrant specific thing. For you Vagrant users, uh, why don't you give yourself a little bit more RAM on that box uh, for Ubuntu. If you already have more RAM, great. I learned the hard way that 512 megabytes isn't going to be enough to build PHP 7. So um, let me get back into my box, uh, Vagrant up, and uh, skip ahead 20 seconds if you like, if you're not using Vagrant. Um, okay, so here we are, uh, SSHing SSH in back into the Vagrant box of Ubuntu. Now we have to get the dependencies for PHP. So it expects, you know, mcrypt, based on the configuration that we're going to use, we want to use mcrypt and a few other libraries. Um, okay, so I'll show you in a second uh, a pasted command. Yeah. Uh, as far as these specific uh, libraries, I know it's tough to watch a video and get the syntax, so at the bottom of the video and on my website, I'll go ahead and list the different commands you want to throw. Um, uh, fortunately for me, I already installed this stuff, so I'm good to go with these libraries. So even after um, you know the libraries uh, that we download, we still have a big configuration command to throw. So you want to use sudo when using this command. Again, I'm going to throw the, um, the steps of the commands for you. And right now what I'm having, you'll probably have too, is a bzip2 um, error where this library is not found. So I'm going to Google this really quickly and get the right command that we need to download. So, okay, sudo apt-get install libz2, libbz2dev. So I'm getting that. Uh, that was pretty quick. So I'm going to run the previous command, which is that large configuration command. And this is a long process. Let me fast forward all this stuff. Um, okay, so there's another common error. Um, it's the gmp.h. So this is a very common error and it's expected. So we're going to create a symbolic link for this library. This symbolic link, of course, uh, sudo, whoops. So, okay, I created that symbolic link. Now this configuration should work. Just letting you guys know um, more or less the errors that you're going to run into. And as I said, this is going to take a long time, so I'm just going to fast forward through this. All right. They recommend you do a make test. I'm not going to do it for this video because it's about 11,000 different tests and that could take some time. I'm going to do a check install. Again, brand new version of Ubuntu. 
check install doesn't work yet, I'm going to have to download that library. So I'm going to throw that exact um, command back to Google, the error that I'm getting. And I've been here before, of course. So sudo uh, aptitude install check install. Say yes to this. Okay, now I can do a sudo check install, and they recommend that you use PHP 7 as the uh, the name, uh, the command for running PHP 7. Specifically, you may already have PHP 5 and older versions on your box. So if you do have an older version of PHP on your box, uh, best practice is to to name that command PHP 7. So I'm selecting item 2 from the list. I already did. So PHP 7 summary, the name is PHP 7. Proceeding with that, check install. Everything's good to go. Uh, installing Apache NPM worker. This is a library we're going to need. And uh, after this, I know there's another library we need. Okay, where are we at now? Yes, lib Apache 2 mod fast CGI. This was quite a hassle to get working. Um, you're probably going to have to do this. Um, so what we have to do is edit our um, sources.list file. You can see in the command vi etc apt sources.list you're going to have to edit that file if you're running into this particular problem. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. Uh, again, in the description, I'll have these. See it at the very top. These are libraries we want at the very top. ftp.es.debian.org. I already had pasted them in there. What you want to do, though, is comment out the previously configured ones. So Ubuntu doesn't uh, try and use these as the archives to download from. So I'm going to go ahead and comment them out. I'm putting an arrow in the comment uh, comments so I know which ones to re-enable after we're done getting this uh, fast CGI library. So if you're, if you're having this issue, I'll go ahead and leave the libraries that you should have um, down in the comments or down in the description of the video. Um, okay, I'm going to write this and I have to exit because I'm vagrant. Don't hate me, native Ubuntu users. Um, okay, so vagrating, um, SSHing back in. Now I should be able to get that that update. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. You first have to update because we we've defined a new archive to download from. I have to make sure all the updates are there and all the lists and whatnot. Um, and once I'm done with this, that's when um, we can go ahead and get fast CGI. It's taking a little bit of time. Should have fast forwarded this part. Sorry about that. Um, bear with me here. Okay, just getting fast CGI, saying yes to this, moving through it, and we're good. Okay, now what you have to do is you have to go back to your sources file. You want to comment out the FTP that um, we've just included uh, these FTP URLs. You want to comment these out now. Keep them in there just in case uh, you need them in the future. Um, I'm commenting them out and then I'm uncommenting the native archive uh, URLs. Okay, so I'm going to write this and you know once you're done, you want to do a sudo apt get update again for your old archive URLs. Uh, and then you want to do the sudo apt get install of fastcgi so you can know, note that it is already installed. So that is comforting to know that it's, it's, it maintained and stood with. Um, okay, I'm just going to throw a PHP 7 uh, version really quickly just so I know that actually <laughs> we haven't created the aliases yet so I have to VI into our profile and we're gonna create a couple of aliases 
So alias PHP 7, and we're just going to point this to the actual um, PHP 7 uh, executable. Uh, okay, so opt PHP 7 bin PHP, and then for uh, the CGI, um, sometimes you want to be able to just throw a quick command PHP 7 CGI and load the uh, CGI uh, process. Okay, I'm just making sure that that's the right syntax. Yes, it is. Alright, so I'm writing this. And now I can get the PHP version. Of course, uh, reload the profile and then get the PHP version. So it's PHP 7. Very good. We're almost there. Um, okay. So I'm going to the etc. directory of PHP. And I want to edit the PHP, or actually rename the PHP FPM conf default to phpfpm.conf, which is what it's expecting. Um, and we also want to rename the www.conf file. So I'll do a sudo move of the default file to uh, www.conf. Um, so www. I'm sorry, phpfpm.dwww.conf. Um, so here we go. Let's vi into this file. Um, okay, wconf, and then run the regular expression. Go, percent s front slash nobody front slash www data front slash g and you can see it replaced four instances I cannot find nobody in the file any longer so I'm happy I'm going to write this and then finally I'm just going to run the um, command to load our process of our CGI file there we go And finally, these are the last steps. Go to etc. Apache 2, get into that directory, and we're going to make a sites available. Um, oh, I'm sorry, well, let's go to mods first, okay? So we need the actions. Uh, well, th this just tells us what's enabled. We need to actually go to mods uh, available. So if we go to mods available, and we're going to need the, the actions module. Uh, so we're going to do sudo a2n mod that enables mod actions. And we're also going to enable the npm worker. So loading, okay, that's good. And now we have to go to sites available. We made the test uh, host.conf, but we need to enable it. So it's an a2n site uh, command. sudo a2n site test host dot conf, and now that's enabled. And let's reload Apache with sudo service Apache two reload. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Ubuntu users, um, you should already have Apache configured for your local host or your web server. Um, to start serving up uh, PHP 7 uh, scripts um, for Mac OS X users or yes specifically Mac OS X and Vagrant users if you want to find out how to serve this stuff up um, you can of course go to vagrantup.com to figure out how to do a host configuration um, but I made a different video showing you just that 